ഐ വെൽക്കം യു വൺ ടു യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ എ യു ഗ്രി ഓർഗനൈസ് ഐ ഹോപ്പ് മെനി ഓഫ് അവർ സബ്സ്ക്രൈബേഴ്സ് വെർ വെയിറ്റിംഗ് ഫോർ ഐ സി ആർ പി ജി തേർഡ് റൗണ്ട് സീറ്റ് അലോട്ട്മെൻറ്റ് ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ വിൽ സി വാട്ട് ഇസ് ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് സ്റ്റെപ്പ് യു ഹാവ് ടു ഫോളോ ആഫ്റ്റർ തേർഡ് റൗണ്ട് സീറ്റ് അലോട്ട്മെൻറ്റ് ബിഫോർ ഗോയിങ് ഇൻ ടു ദിസ് വീഡിയോ ഇഫ് യു ന്യൂ ടു അവർ ചാനൽ യു ക്യാൻ സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് അവർ ചാനൽ അവർ ചാനൽ ഇസ് ദ ഓൺലി ചാനൽ ടു ഗീവ് അഗ്രികൾച്ചർ എജ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഐ സി ആർ കൗൺസിലിംഗ് വീഡിയോസ് ഇൻ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് സോ യു ക്യാൻ സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് അവർ ചാനൽ ആൻഡ് ക്യാൻ ഷെയർ അവർ ചാനൽ വിത്ത് യുവർ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ഓൾസോ വെർ വി ക്യാൻ ചെക്ക് ദിസ് തേർഡ് റൗണ്ട് സീറ്റ് അലോട്ട്മെൻറ്റ് മീൻസ് ഹിയർ വിൽ ബി ദിസ് പ്രിവ്യൂ ഫോം സോ യു ക്യാൻ ക്ലിക്ക് ഓൺ ദറ്റ് പ്രിവ്യൂ ഫോം സോ ഇഫ് യു ക്ലിക്ക് ഓൺ ദറ്റ് പ്രിവ്യൂ ഫോം ഹിയർ ഇസ് ദറ്റ് വ്യൂ ഓപ്ഷൻ സോ യു ക്യാൻ ക്ലിക്ക് ഓൺ ദറ്റ് വ്യൂ ഓപ്ഷൻ so here if you go to the next page here will be the round of allotment so this id we have seen for second round seat allotment also so same id i am using here so here for the round 2 and round 1 there was a seat upgradation but for the round 3 for the third round there was no upgradation many students have contacted me none of them got upgradation in the third round everyone's uh, remain same even what they got a seat allotment in the first round it remains the same for up to this third round also so here you may be knowing in previous video i explained for this student uh, the seat was upgraded from obc in uh, plant pathology in, in acharya engineering university to andrisod kota in uh, plant pathology in the same university but in the third round it is also not upgraded let us hope for the fourth round not only for the student for the many students those who contacted me the same thing is happening okay let us hope for the best in the upcoming round that is fourth round now you can get uh, some other options uh, such as uh, admission payment allotment letter so here will be the allotment letter if you click on this you can download this allotment letter that um, we have seen during our previous videos and here is the admission payment admission payment was uh, done in the previous round only so there is no need for uh, admission payment next is upgradation or cancel and withdraw option there are uh, two options here so one is upgradation next is uh, cancel and withdraw admission you can do either of these two so one is you can keep for upgrade but you cannot retain the seat because uh, at the time of uh, counseling or at that at the time of first round counseling or at the time of upgradation only icr mailed we cannot freeze the seat once uh, after upgradation if the seat is not upgraded to you until the fourth round then you can retain the seat what you have got uh, earlier but until fourth round you cannot freeze the seat that you allotted during the first round okay i hope everyone will be understanding uh, here you can click on these two option one is you can click for upgradation so if you click for upgradation here there will be one option so that is uh, mark for upgradation this candidate has already marked for upgradation during the first round only so here it is showing marked for mark for upgradation but uh, if you have got a seat allotment during the first, third round only some of you may got a seat allotment during this third round only so for you there will be different options so for you now there will be the option for uploading the documents okay and your university need to verify your documents after verification you will get three options so in that uh, before that you have to pay the seat acceptance fees of 10000 okay after that there will be the different options for the first option will be freeze the seat next is the second option will be cancel or withdraw admission next is upgradation so either of these three you can select one thing so that is left up to you what you are choosing this is for the fresh students those who got fresh seat allotment during the third round counseling okay so here there is another option Uh, cancel and withdraw admission this one i think so no one will do this one if you want to withdraw the seat and you have to cancel the seat you cannot participate in the mop up round that is one thing and uh, if you are cancelling and withdrawing the seat amount that is 9000 rupees amount will be refunded to you this amount may not be refunded now only it may take 3 months or 6 months to get refund okay that is also i will tell now only because uh, many students have got this experience so here for the third round uh, seat allotment different dates include seat allotment and start of online application uploading by the documents or candidates and the submission of the documents if required deposition of seat acceptance fees everything it will start from today that is 11 am onwards next this uh, end of online document uploading by the candidates so if you want to upload any documents you should upload within tomorrow 11:59 pm and the end of online verification documents by the universities that is 16th 6 pm before that university should have verified your documents if university did not verify your document you should call to your university and you tell them to verify documents okay then uh, end of the resubmission of uh, documents by the candidates of university asked any additional documents or uh, if they have any queries they will ask you so you have to answer them within 17th thursday 2 pm and uh, the end of that uh, verification of uh, that resubmitted documents will be 6 pm of uh, 17th thursday okay and finally you have to deposit the seed acceptance fees if you have allotted uh, freshly for this third round okay only those candidates those who got fresh seed allotment you can 
pay this seat acceptance fees 10000 rupees before 17th 1159 pm you have to complete all these things now only okay so some of you may be having doubt you have paid a seat acceptance fees earlier during the previous rounds you don't need to pay this seat acceptance fees now okay another one thing is uh, document verification by the new alerted university for example if you got upgradation in the second round or third round then your uh, document may be re-verified by the new alerted university or may not be re-verified as the first university did verification of your documents okay that left up to that particular university some of the horticulture universities did not take bsc agree students okay for example two students have got a seat allotment in particular university in msc horticulture courses they did bsc agriculture okay then they did upgradation okay while doing the upgradation they got another one university horticulture university but this horticulture university was unable to take that particular two students due as they did ug in agriculture because according to that university rules they can take msc for horticulture only to the students those who did ug horticulture okay they will not take students ug agriculture okay so if you are facing any problem like this you please request to that particular university verify the documents and uh, and you assure them you will not take uh, university admission in that particular university because if you take admission also that university will reject there will be some of the internal problems like this so you have to manage yourself and you can request your uh, alerted university to help i hope everyone will be knowing the university wise uh, contact details and fees details are given in icer admission website but here one thing i will tell you have to verify this fee structure with the university okay with the, if you go to that particular university website there will be the pg admission brochure okay pg admission brochure will be there or pg regulation will be there pg regulation this is for pg and for phd also pg and phd regulation brochure will be there or admission brochure will be there and for ug ug admission brochure and regulation brochure will be there you have to verify the fees in that uh, website or in that bulletin or pdf okay that is very important because uh, why i am telling this means last year for uh, one university they mentioned fees as uh, 2500 okay but uh, actually its fees was 25000 they missed one zero in that okay so one of our subscriber choose that university okay she has chosen that university and she has joined there but the problem is now she is paying 25,000 rupees that is per semester that too per year including hostel fees everything it's coming nearly 1.5 lakhs okay you see the difference between 2500 rupees and this one lakh, one lakh rupees okay there is a huge difference so others should not suffer from this so she told to mention this in video so i am mentioning here so in our channel we uploaded many videos related to icer document verification and uh, upgradation of the seat and uh, payment of the seat acceptance fees and uh, remaining all other processes here are the list of those videos so you can watch those videos uh, if you are having any further doubt related to this ICER counseling